Welcome. Today I'll be summarizing and sharing my thoughts on October 7th, Encouraged to Change and a little time for myself. We'll begin with the serenity prayer and three mindful breaths. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. First, I will look at October 7th in a little time for myself. Take a moment to read it. This page starts off talking about a person who is dyslexic and to help themselves read, they use a reading guide so that they can highlight just one line at a time. And then the person who wrote this passage talks about focusing on single day increments and the just for today bookmark. And how remembering the slogan one day at a time is helpful in slowing down and focusing on just what's in front of them. And then it says making progress one minute, one thought at a time. The question of the day is what helps me calm my thoughts? <sighs> Breathing, trying to keep still, giving things that are on my mind to my higher power, I do find this bookmark helpful. There's also one called Just for Tonight, Just for Today and Just for Tonight. Very good. And talking to, a, to my sponsor, talking to an Al-Anon friend, talking to someone I trust, sometimes reading, reading conference-approved literature or just reading uh, something else that makes me feel happy and serene, gentle movements, walking, stretching, having a warm drink, praying. I think that's what helps me calm my thoughts. Journaling, journaling is a big one. What helps you calm your thoughts? That's a little time for myself. Now we'll switch over to Courage to Change, October 7th. I'll read this to myself.
The quote is from Lin Yu Tang, and it says, Besides the noble art of getting things done, there is the noble art of leaving things alone. The wisdom of life consists in the elimination of non-essentials. This passage is talking about the fact that sometimes it's important to do nothing. Sometimes it's time to act, and sometimes it's time to not act. And also to be patient with the pace of life. To accept that there may be a reason why things are not moving as quickly as you would like them to. And that waiting time does not necessarily mean wasted time. Stillness can have lessons to teach me. And I feel like I'm very, uh, it depends on the situation, but I have slowed down quite a bit, slowed down my pace. But for the last 40 years of my life, I've been pretty quick paced. But now that I'm retired, I can do things much slower. I was actually out of bed before 8 o'clock this morning, and my partner was confused. <laughs> Why was I out of bed so early? <laughs> but that also means for me, like solving problems or things that I perceive to be as problematic, sometimes things don't get solved immediately and it's it's good it's a good reminder for my own serenity to do what I can do give the rest to my higher power and let it happen the way it's supposed to happen sometimes a lot easier said than done but a good a good reminder nonetheless we'll close out with the serenity prayer and three mindful breaths here we go God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Sending you love. Take care.